you have entered the Cabillion HQ. Prepare for countdown. Live streaming in three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome to Cabillion HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we will have uh, Amanda join us once again <laughs> for our uh, lunch and crafts. And today we'll be uh, continuing with our little sculptures that we made. My name is Justin. Uh, my co-host over there is Kaya. Hello. And um, yeah, so this is a little bit of a different color than what we started <laughs> with before. Uh, if you remember, they were pink, flesh toned yes, color. Flesh. Uh, so from your recommendations, we spray painted with a little primer. Uh, we have a little bit of a video for you. Can we play that? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just glove it on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then mine's pretty much the same. Look at that. Look. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. shine. I wanted mine to be a little. <laughs> really going reflective. For the, the high gloss. Yeah, look. the high gloss look. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Very glossy and shiny. <laughs> so it, that was a couple of hours ago, and yeah. mine's still a bit sticky. And you think it would, it would be okay for what we're doing? Yeah, sticky is fine. Just not glossy. Just not wet. Ah, okay. Because then all of it will just rub off. Right. But sticky's okay. It means it's on the way. To so the dry. the primer will help stick the paint onto the uh, sculpture, correct? Yeah, it's the equivalent of using gesso for a painting. Mm -hmm. it, it gives the uh, sculpture a little tooth for the paint to stick onto it because if it was just the acrylic paint and the super sculpey, wherever you're picking it up, it's likely to rub off. So it could flake off. Yeah, yeah so with the primer, way. it's really sticky and it will hold okay. it a little better. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to be using acrylic paint today? Yes. Water-based right. paints are great for this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can use oil paints too, but... I on Sculpey? On Sculpey, but I feel like the acrylic, it dries faster. It's just easier to use mm -hmm. in general, and it doesn't... Do you think it bonds the bad. best then? Um, it's just faster. It's I mean, just faster. Oil paint, even on a regular canvas, takes several days to completely dry. Oof. So. Yeah, and if you gloss it on, we don't have time for then, that. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have time for that, so we're gonna use acrylic. Okay. Um, recommendations for what color I should make this little guy? We're talking little blues we're and talking grays. About, uh, yeah, I think blue is good. Mm. Um, it's best to work light to dark mm -hmm. because dark colors cover easier than you know i'm gonna paint mine black and white so You'll if do i do white first yeah if i do the black then it's gonna be a lot of layers to I get gotcha, over I the gotcha. white yeah. so does that include everything so if i was going to make white eyes then i should do that first the details first or should i do the whole body um if you're doing a lighter blue you can do the whole body the white will cover it pretty well mm -hmm. um because they're kind of on the same level. Yeah. But if you were doing it like the like dark purple, blue. I I'm not yeah. doing purple. I don't think it's gonna be like Barney the the <laughs> narwhal. <laughs> but uh, okay, so you're gonna work on the face first. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna lay down some white first yeah. on my face. And I guess I will work on the body. So how how exactly would that work if I have to? touch the parts and then paint it and how quickly is this going to dry? Um, it takes a little bit of thought. Yeah. Uh, because wherever gonna you're going to hold it, things. you're, you're going to paint where your fingers aren't first. Yes. So you might want to start <laughs> up on the top uh -huh. and then, you know, you can put it down and then you can keep painting oh, okay. um, and then you know, if it's not dry yet, then you can uh, go in and do like a little bit of the eye until the rest of it dries. But if you do thin coats, it dries pretty quickly. Uh, we got a shout out for Amanda. Neil Wynn says hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Neil. <laughs> He's another amazing artist. You should check him out. Perfect. Neil Wynn. Thank you for joining, Neil. <laughs> um, okay, let's get started then. Okay, can I have maybe some paintbrushes? <laughs> no, ah, Kaya. No. You're hoarding. So this is finger painting. Ah. 
I think your cup runneth over now. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I brought my brushes from home. Oh, so just, extra you're credit. welcome to use them. Um, can I use this one? This one looks pretty good. Or is that one you're going to use? I think that might be Lindsay's. I think I just stole oh. that. <laughs> Sorry, Lindsay. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. It's now my brush. <laughs> you were, it's like Highlander. It's yours now. Um, okay. So I'm going to try that middle blue. You think that this would one? be good? Yeah, that's a really nice color. Yeah. It's very oceany. Okie dokie. Trying to decide what to rest him on. Pick the towel. Or... I'm just gonna mess up the table. Okay. Like, like I do at home. Mm. This table might have some oil residue left over from when uh, Rochelle was here. <laughs> 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 so prepare for that. It might smell like uh, flowers. Oh, that's better than and most lavender. things. So. Everything. Everything's lavender. Mmm. <laughs> Mine's a little different, so I'm starting with all the little yellow parts first. Oh. For those who are not yet terrified by my creature. <laughs> Creepy. Okay. Yeah. My mom was very confused when I put this in the oven. Let's just say that. <laughs> you baking cookies? Right. She did ask that a few times. Really? Like, she's like, why are you cooking? I was like, what do you mean? Why are you cooking? It's like, your cookies smell weird. Uh, I think you overbaked it. It's a bit hard. Yeah. I chipped a tooth on it. She's like, why? The, the oven's too low. I'm like, well, it's not, it's not for food. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Not feeling it? Oops. Oh, what the? the people. Oops. <laughs> I don't know how cameras everything. work, right? You don't want to see me actually doing this. <laughs> Cover it! Right. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? How's that blue look? Well, Should I just keep going with it and see what I like? You can. Mm. If I mean, you can play with it, too. You can mix a little gray in it if you don't want it quite yeah. as bright. I'll, uh, I'll just put an initial coat and see how I feel. Because you already came into this with a whole thing in it. I did. Yeah. Call that cheating. <laughs> I call it being prepared. But yeah. Well, whatever. we can we can call it whatever. <laughs> Is it cheating if it's not a game? <laughs> I, I don't know. There was an illusion to uh, <laughs> winning something yeah. earlier. So life is a competition. Well, mm, that's, that's one way to think. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> a point of view. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. But. Mm. In the nature sense, I think so. It's fight for survival. It's usually what happens when you're the youngest child. They're generally the most competitive. Really? Yep. My sister is not, so. That's surprising. Yeah. You're She's more competitive than she is? Uh, I'd say more put together, but. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. I don't know, I'm an only child. So, ah. I'm only competitive with myself. Yes. How can I be the best? <laughs> so how can me? I win and lose? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's very confusing on an existential level. Right. But you do get the answers you want. Hopefully. Uh, most of the time. If you don't get the answers you like when you're arguing with yourself, then, um, yeah. I don't know what this says about your psyche. <laughs> Sometimes I just give up in the argument. <laughs> like, I can't win this. Forget this noise. Do you paint the bottom as well? I don't normally paint bottoms, but you can <laughs> if you want. You're making this too open-ended. Well, the, there's no right answer this because it's not a competition. <laughs> I thought it was. It's very subjective. It's like, what do you want to represent? I just want to make you proud. Aw, you've already made me proud. Just by doing this. It's a mm. very touching moment to right? catch on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there should be some emotional music. Yeah. I think all we have it. is trance music on. <laughs> well, you gotta work with what you got. Yeah. Trans Hopefully it was music. a nice moment in it. Yeah. It's funny, I'm using the horn as like a grabbing point. 
Hopefully it's on well. Oh, you, yeah, you don't want to break it like I did with my fin this morning. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about that fiasco. Oh, it's an accident. <laughs> Safe the whole time, was carried away in bubble uh, wrap. Yeah. And then when we were moving it for the primer, the little fin popped off. It broke. So delicate. Now, in those situations, uh, what's the best thing to use to glue it together or put it together? A resin or... I have a glue called Zappa Gap, I think. Zappa Gap? Zappa Gap, yes. They sell it at craft stores. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a heavy duty super glue. Yeah. And they have a spray that you can use to set it really quickly because mm -hmm. it's really thick. And normally when I'm breaking things, it's before an art show. <laughs> and I don't have time for yeah. the super glue to dry properly. Um, That's always fun. But today I just used regular super glue and, and it worked uh, very well. Right. Can I see it? Yeah. It's right in there. Yeah. I think it I mean, would be able to cover little, that up. There's a little crack. There we go. Oop. Oh, I'm always oh, moving to the wrong side. Left is right. Oh, left Oops. is right. Hello. <laughs> there we go. I don't know how cameras work. No. No, you can't. You can see a little bit of it. Yeah. And a little blurry. I tried, people. I tried. That's all that matters. all you can do. I'm learning. I just realized it got really quiet. <laughs> I know, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. But I think that's kind of the nature of painting sometimes. Is very, it becomes very meditative. Yeah, yeah, therapeutic. And you start to get hyper-focused and lose track of everything else. Right. Which means you're doing it right, by the way. Oh. Okay. Yes. So less talking is better. Uh, maybe not for a live stream, but uh, <laughs> if you're on your own at home. <laughs> it's like you're doing it right, but now we have to do it wrong. But now we have to kind of yeah. run a commentary. Yeah. So you didn't bring your uh, picture that you brought last time of your creation. I didn't. But uh, you already remember what the color it's gonna be like or yeah kind of it? because it's so simple it's, it's just, just gonna be tongue. black white and gray okay hmm. so is the tongue gonna to be black and white as well the the body is gonna be black with the white face and then the tongue is, and inside of the mouth is going to be gray oh, okay. just very simple yeah we talked about that before kind of that old 1930s kind of look yeah the the pie eyes yeah i tried to do pie eyes on mine and uh, i kind of got carried away and did whatever <laughs> i was like you know what i can prove to myself that i can make lid eyelids and i did that and i kind of changed the whole look of him so i think someone missed when you were explaining why you chose white before you chose to do the black? Oh, I'm doing the white because I like to work light to dark. So I know that when I go in with the black, it's gonna cover really easily. And uh, it's easier if you put black onto white than white onto black. But normally when I paint, I do that anyways. I like to work light to dark. Yeah, this might be a little too dark. He's very vibrant. <laughs> very rich in color. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. I'll make a rainbow horn. <laughs> yeah, do it. He reminds me a little bit of the guy on the cover of Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah, a little bit. Just his happiness. Yeah. 
He's just happy to be here. I'm like off screen here. I'll try to <laughs> flip it a little bit so people can see what I'm working on. <laughs> He's very blue. He's very blue. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like this. I'll have to play with it. It's an experiment. Yeah. I mean, you can also, what I've been doing, Rage I like- Rage quit, throw it in the dumpster, <laughs> start all over again. I've done that. <laughs> really? It's, oh yeah. Just get real stabby with things. Yeah. Yeah. I'll remember to keep the knives away from you. <laughs> it's like, Amanda, how's your day? Oh, you brought the knives again. <laughs> I see the knives are out. <laughs> I'm just gonna back away yeah. slowly. I'm just gonna go back to my office and lock the door. Oh, you're lucky you have a door. Yeah. Right. She's right behind me. And you're like, hey, guy. The perks of being an editor. <laughs> you have to be in a dark room. Yep. By yourself. A dark oh, windowless man. room. I'm the lucky one. I think you're afraid. <laughs> Sounds a little like being in Vegas. Yeah. Without all the... There's no clock either, so it is like Vegas. <laughs> you don't need time. Not in Vegas. They don't want you to know what time it is. No, they do not. It's like, oh, five in the morning? Still food time. Well, you used to work in Vegas, right? I did used to work in Vegas. You did? I did not know this about yeah, you. Yeah, it was a production studio that was uh, right behind the Palms. Okay. The casino there. Yeah. It used to be the, the Playboy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and we did a bunch of kids' TV shows and other fun stuff. Uh, I also worked on some of the academy information for a world series of poker so i got to meet a lot of famous poker players and uh, chat with them film them so they have an online academy did you get any uh hot tips for poker yeah yeah um it really isn't about bluffing it's about statistics and it's about knowing your odds that's well, I'm out. <laughs> right? It's a math person's game. So, like, the smartest people generally will do very well with uh, the poker. At least math-centric people. Yeah. Um, that was kind of surprising because kind of the mythos in poker is, oh, it's a bluffer's game and blah, blah, blah. But no, it's, it's all about probability and how you deal with probability. I'm keeping it cool under pressure. Yeah. That, Not that is difficult. A tell. Yeah, that is difficult, um, especially when you're in the high stakes games or if you're in a tournament and it's like one of your first. Um, all eyes are on you. Oh, he's got a sticky ball. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'll leave it on for now and see if I like it later. I'm going to do the eyes. Maybe that'll make me feel better. <laughs> Do something. you not feel good right now? Um, Do we need to talk about this? I mean... Uh, what are you feeling? I mean, what, do, what does everyone think? I know I'm grabbing by the horn and I shouldn't, but... As a, as a blue little whale? Normal? I like the color. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it'll grow on me. When to, the eyes are just gonna pull it all together. Yeah. That's, what, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. Um, for one of the shots that I did, it was a uh, really big panoramic shot of, of the whole Vegas Strip, and I had to go on this little uh, bucket crane, you know, one of the bucket lifts. Yeah. Uh, and it would only fit me and barely the camera on the tripod. It was oh. just kind of like this, and I went up, uh, what was it, thirty, at least thirty feet, maybe thirty-five. And that's when the wind starts picking up in the desert. So I started swaying, and I'm like, uh, a little lower, please. He's like, what, higher? And then he goes he goes up at like another 10 feet. <laughs> oh, no. And it's just me swaying with the camera. Just like, all right, just make sure it's in focus. <laughs> just get it done. 
It was horrible. That sounds terrifying. It was pretty terrifying. But I, it, it really numbs you. It's amazing. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Well, when you're dealing with it, you kind of just get into deers in the headlight kind of things. Like, well, I, you know, I still have a job to do, and the yeah. quicker I do mm -hmm. that, the quicker I can go back down. Yeah. So you don't think about it until afterwards. <laughs> Then the nightmares come. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> um, let's see. That's a good thing. Where is the white? There is some white here. We can use. Well, I think you're gonna have to use this white. Okay. There was another white. Nope. One white. Just one white. <laughs> <laughs> We're all adults here. Paint makes funny noises. <laughs> Is farting ever not funny? I think when farting's not funny, uh, you're too old. <laughs> <laughs> or you've lost your sense of humor. Yeah, I think it's the latter. Or it's a somber event. Yeah, which... Could... Which, no, that's when it's funniest. It's when for you don't expect it. For people watching, not for <laughs> so, Yeah. <laughs> Like a, a funeral. A funeral and someone farts. <laughs> Dearly <laughs> beloved. Or a see, wedding. You just see the people in the back snickering running out of right. the room. <laughs> um, I need a tiny brush. This one will do. Hmm. Is that a questioning whom? Uh, contemplating. About the fart? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking of how many layers this takes. My it hand is, is shaking too much. Why? Because I didn't sleep enough. Oh. Yeah, sometimes they, it takes a lot of layers. Yeah. Yeah, the white looks like it's going to take a couple layers. Yeah, I think the gray is just is very hard to cover. Yeah. It might also be the type of paint. I'm using a different paint than the other one. Yeah, the I like to use these little folk art kind of cheapy paints you get at the craft <laughs> store that are on sale for, you know, 99 cents. Right. Um, because they do have a really high water content and it dries very matte and I really like the matte look. Yeah. As opposed to the glossier Liquitex. Well, maybe I should do glossy for his eyes. I don't know if there is a glossy white. Okay, maybe this is, no, that's not it. What's this? Is that gray? It's black. Yep. And this is what? This black. Why would you, it's like almost all white and it, oh, it's black. <laughs> I suppose you don't have any white, Kaya? I do, actually. Um, here, let me open it. Yeah, I want to experiment, see if that's a little glossier. Thank you. Not to diss your folk art, but... <laughs> it's alright, it's a preference. I mean... It's not everybody's preference. This would be in my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just hearing music from The Omen right now. Right? Yeah. It's all for you, <laughs> Damien. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when is it, uh, when do you use round versus um, flat brushes? Uh, what diff when do you use the different brush types? Thank you. Sorry, blocking your face. Wow. I just use what I like. Mm -hmm. um, if I want to cover a You're lot very of easy going. surface area, yeah, whatever. I think a a flat brush is good, um, but I typically like to use round brushes and filberts, which is kind of a, yeah, it's, it's this shape. Mm. It's kind of a in-between round and flat. Mm. Oh, no. Whoops, no, uh, come on, come on, figure it out, lady. There we are. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Uh, What's a camera? Nah. What? Well, I am, you know, doing this thing that looks like it's from the 30s. That's true. <laughs> I must be like a walking anachronism. <laughs> just. Uh, is this going up on the YouTubes? 
Is this, is this on the internet? It's on the internet. Let me uh, send a telegram to my family. <laughs> <laughs> they can tune in. Yep. You got him on the wire? <laughs> you hear that, Clarence? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my head, Justin. <laughs> I know that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if this brush, it might be too small for this. What are you trying or to too do? feathering? Maybe I need it flatter. I need it flatter. Right? It's yeah. making it too wispy. Yeah. It's all an experiment of figuring out what you like and what works. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Well, I decided. Um, do we have any small flat? Small flat. Yeah, not really. Nah. That one's closed. This one? This one right here. Yeah. That's a filbert. A filbert! Filbert looks great. That I just described. Sorry, I couldn't hear you in the 1930s. <laughs> <laughs> I do have old timey music just running through my head now. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's very strange. I have nothing in my head. <laughs> it's a static. Yeah. It's a monkey. Oh, the symbol <laughs> monkey? Yeah. Oh, those <laughs> things are terrifying. Yeah, it's the face. It's unusual. It's everything. I actually have a, a kind of funny story about one of those. Please tell. Okay. Um, I'm intrigued. Yeah, so my dad is kind of a prankster, mm. and being the only child, I got the brunt of this, because mm. my mom was just not having it, ah. so it fell to me. And one Christmas, you know, we're opening our gifts, and it's, it's just awesome, and we're having a great time, and there's this package, and... My dad's like, you should wait and do that one last. And so I'm just imagining, like, this is going to be... A puppy. Something incredible. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we get to it, and he's just kind of watching and waiting. And I rip the, <laughs> the, the, the paper, and it's a symbol monkey. <laughs> and I drop it, and I just kind of back away. Well, you're scared of it immediately? Yes, yeah. And, it, I mean, I was too old to be scared of it that way. <laughs> Was this last year? <laughs> <laughs> it was a few years ago. But he laughed very hard. Yeah. It'd be like if I opened up a package and a giant clown doll was staring at me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I get that. And then, you know, sometimes Simple Monkey would just end up places in the house. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, someone moves it? Yeah. That's not and By someone, it's someone very specific. Yes. <laughs> One person... That's, Who thinks he's hilarious? That's quite cruel. Yeah. Every year, my mom has this Halloween decoration that's supposed to be like a little kid under a ghost or a sheet. But she oh, like the Charlie Brown kinda, with the too many holes? But it or? looks like it could actually be a toddler oh. and doesn't have eyes or a face. And oh. every year, instead of putting it outside of the house, she puts it in the kitchen. Why? So every year I'm always shocked when a small oh. toddler sized thing is standing in the kitchen. Does and she no, do it know. after you go to bed and then you wake up in the morning? Yeah. And no, it's like, oh. I personally don't even think she thinks about it that way. She's like, what? It's just a Halloween decoration. I'm like, well, how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> creepy. Yes. Dolls are creepy, just in general. Yeah. My sister used to own a couple uh, China dolls, mm -hmm. and it would sit watching the front of her bed. <laughs> Why? It was the like, creepiest thing. Like a so central? whenever I go into her room, yeah, I guess. Uh, whenever I went to her room, you'd I'd look across the room and see these dolls staring right back, and they they had that creepy glass the doll glass eyes. The glass eyes, yeah. They're very well made. Um, in fact, the more authentic they are, the creepier they are. Yes. Ooh. Glad those are gone. I wonder what happened to them. 
They're in your attic. Oh, okay. <laughs> Waiting. Yeah. yeah. They're actually in your vent in your room. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> they were creepy. They were English too, so they're super authentic. So are those creepier than Furbies? In my opinion, yeah. Yeah. Although like Furbies Furby. without their fur, pretty <laughs> creepy. You see this is the skeleton structure? No. The little eyes and the beak. I, <laughs> I always thought that people were just scared of Furbies because sometimes they would just talk in the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Prompted. So that's why people were creeped out by Alexa when she started just laughing maniacally for no reason. It was some bug error. You didn't hear about that? Yeah. yeah, I did hear about that. But yeah, that's creepy. Bug error in quotation marks. Yeah, no, it was Something. Jeff Bezos listening in, yeah. laughing to himself. <laughs> this just in, Jeff Bezos is actually Alexa. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> just pitched the voice. <laughs> that would be fun. Now, see what I'm gonna do here is put a little happy tree. Uh, it's gonna be our little secret. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a minute. Like, <laughs> how are you gonna put a tree on it and have it be a secret? But people, but people are crazy over Bob Ross. Yeah. I love that guy. He made painting like fun and exciting. Not many people can do that. He made napping easy. That too. <laughs> I don't think that was his intended I, message. But he's just so peaceful. He was the original ASMR. I th yes. He was, you're yeah. right. Yeah. We just turn that on and just slowly yeah. fade away into you're the like, couch. like, that is very relaxing. I would like a happy cloud, yes, mm. in my dreams. Now let's count the clouds. One, two, three. Should I make his lips a different color? Or his chin <laughs> area? Yes. Or should I make it blue? Or whatever? Maybe a different shade of blue? Yeah. Mix it up a little bit. Mm. Do you want to go lighter or darker? What usually pops more? Lighter colors, right? Light, yeah, lighter. So if I wanted it to pop, it would have to be a lighter color. Mm -hmm. So a lighter blue. So let me you try that other blue. blue. That might be crazy light though. You might have to do some mixing. Yes. Might have to. I've been mixing some colors back here. How dare you? That is not what the paint originally was. <laughs> you have to buy a new paint. Then make them cheaper. <laughs> Actually, this is my limited collection. Limited? As in easy to carry around, ah. I guess, yeah. I feel like I should name him Filbert after the brush I use. Ooh, that means <laughs> fancy. Oh wow, this is completely stuck. <laughs> Did you glue this too? Oh, I got it. Okay. Boop. Yeah, I like these paints. Darker colors are much easier to paint on than the yeah, lighter ones. They go really fast. Yeah. I like the blending that you're doing. Oh, that thank looks you. nice. Thank you. Oops. I didn't realize anyone was gonna use purple. <laughs> Why? Oh, because I was just dissing Barney. <laughs> oh yeah. Purple's a good color. It is a good color. It's not Barney purple. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with purple. <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> it mm. looks like a clown. Uh, I'll, I'll finish it and then maybe I'll have to shade it in to make it darker. I don't know what I'm doing. You do. You do know what you're doing. Own it. It's such a good sculpture and I'm ruining it. Nah. By painting. This looks like a clown. That's what I hear. Do you hate clowns? 
Who doesn't? I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Apparently when I was one or two, my parents hired a clown on one of my birthday parties. Maybe that's why I have such an aversion to them. You were traumatized forever. Traumatized. I mean, that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about this. <laughs> I mean, I'll continue. everywhere. Yeah, that's a little bit of an issue with putting your hand in a color oh God, and then getting so it transferred. Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Did it? Nope. I got it. Yeah, look at <laughs> me go. Knowing how cameras work. Look at that, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. Just keep going. It's about the journey. Terrible journey. Look at that! Look at the creepiness! <laughs> <laughs> this is not working for me. He looks a little like he's foaming at the mouth. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, he's say, gotten into something. Water or something. <laughs> yeah. Does he have rabies? <laughs> he looks a little like he has rabies. <laughs> the not colors, done yet. The colors are fantastic. If yeah. That's what you're maybe going for, but. What, for foaming in the mouth? Yeah. Okay. Maybe to add some nightmares. color to the mouth and then see where Inside you're Inside the mouth? Yeah, yeah, with the lips. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> This is my suggestion right now. <laughs> with the lips? What color? A little pink? Yeah, you can do... A pink. Are you talking about inside the mouth or on the lips? Inside the mouth. Okay. And then that will help maybe determine what color the lips yeah. end up. Yeah, okay. I feel like I'm going to have to do some overtime homework on this. <laughs> and that's okay. Just like before. Well, I mean, painting does take a really long time. Unless you're Amanda. Unless you're Amanda. It does take a long time. Lies. It does. I see your work. Sometimes I just stop, though. Like, that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> you? Really? How yeah. long did it take you to sculpt that? Uh, <laughs> took a little, a, a few extra hours. Yeah, yeah. But that's because they get lost in things. Yeah, right. Where I sit down and think I'll do an hour, and then three hours later I'm still working on it. Yeah. And, and I don't know what I've done. So I think I'll have a red tongue, maybe? Thank you. Are all the caps stuck? A little bit, yeah. <sighs> so do you paint often, Kaya? Oh uh, yeah, fairly often. Um, I've been doing watercolor recently, but I usually do acrylic on canvas. I don't do it on sculptures. <laughs> So this is a little bit different for me. Great, now this looks like he's bleeding. <laughs> I'm turning this into a monster. Yeah, I can tell that you like, you have some painting skills. Yeah, it's a little rushed today. But... I know, I'm trying to go fast, yeah. but yeah, I was trying to, and now I give up. I, yeah. It's a uh, battle between wanting to be speedy and then wanting it, it to be good. perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, well, I'm that's gonna have the to redo constant the, battle. I have to redo the teeth because uh, got a little blood splatter up there. Don't want bloody teeth. It sounds like yours is turning into a little bit of a horror film. It is. Justin. I'm not happy. This is mine so far. I know I've been Aww. kind of off screen a little bit, but. He's cute. Yeah. 
<laughs> what is that noise? That's the me going, I don't know what I'm doing. Does anybody know what they're doing, really? Yes, you do. And so does uh, Amanda. It just looks like I know what I'm doing. In my mind, I, it, I really have no idea what's going on at any given moment. I just pretend. Mm-hmm. Let me try putting a little pink on his uh, tongue. Maybe that will help. Because right now it's a little... Ah! <laughs> Also, what should be the interior of mouth? Kind of like a blend of the two, right? Wait, this is purple. Yeah, it looks like they... <laughs> what what? Happened? You keep getting deceived by the paint tubes. Yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, now I just have to add white I think that's the price tag. That it's, is this right. The pink, pink price tag. That threw you off. Who does that? Corporations. Corporations, man. The man. That might be too pink. Ooh, I touch the water. <laughs> That was a really pleasant feeling, touching dirty water. Can you tell it's dirty? I mean, there's paint in it, so I'm assuming it's dirty. Mm. I know, but does it feel like it's dirty? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. That's all. But it could, uh, to be to your point, it could just be because I know it's dirty and yeah. therefore it feels your dirty. Your brain's filling in the gaps. Yeah. Like, ew, gross. It's like you could probably be drinking it as long as you didn't look at it first. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> you drink paint water? Uh, I've done many things. I've put my paintbrush in my coffee <laughs> because it was next to my water, and then just drank the coffee anyway. Because <laughs> hey, you're not gonna waste a cup. I, yeah, it's acrylic. It's water based. Right. It should be fine. <laughs> Disclaimer: Please do not eat paint right. or drink paint water. Do we have a lower third? Yeah. <laughs> Warning. Warning, don't. We do not endorse the drinking of pain. <laughs> but I have often had a cup of water to drink and then a cup of water for rinsing brushes and forgotten or just grabbed the wrong one. That's how into it I get. Mm -hmm. Hardcore. Hardcore. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play around with this because it's not working around. Like none of it. None of it. <laughs> none of not it. Not one part of it. Not one what about part. the tongue? No, the tongue's the worst. What about part. the eyes? Yeah, uh, well, they're lifeless right now, so I'd have to add black dot or something. Yeah, I'd have to think about it. It's not like sculpting where if you mess up, you can just keep going at it. Yeah. Uh, Mal Green, it says they are looking awesome. Ah, uh, that is my lovely friend Megan oh. who is visiting us from Portland welcome she's so supportive hey the land of oregano <laughs> <laughs> well Oregon is really good at their um, tourism commercials they made an entire studio of Ghibli-esque uh, commercial for really? visiting the state really cool. yeah it was how do you well see or hear about that? YouTube. Of course. Yes. The YouTubes. The YouTubes. That, You're in charge of it. That all the children are yes. talking about. Yeah, you see. The internets. Yeah. I mean, they must have 
spent a lot of time and money on it, so. Like full on animation? Yeah, like full on, like very well done. Oh. Like three minutes of animation. Oh, wow. Yeah. So good job, Portland, or Oregon. Both. It's beautiful. The state is just gorgeous. Yes, very beautiful. Mm. Such good food there. Mm. Voodoo donuts. Yeah, we visited there. Yeah. Yeah. And? <laughs> we each got very ridiculous donuts. I think there, there was a Captain Crunch and maybe a Fruity Pebble one and then another random one. And it just... It's, it's, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's no, we just split them oh, and okay. <laughs> made ourselves a little ill, but yeah. that's fine. Yeah. It was worth it. Just to try it. It's not one of your everyday things. Well, Voodoo Donuts is now out here as well. I know. I haven't been to I the one that's out anymore. here. It's at Universal, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's all right. I sorry, have sorry. a lot of elbow space for, I don't know why. I've You're really leaning in. Destroyed this poor creature. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't want to give him clown lips, you know? <laughs> Maybe go darker. Yeah. Go yeah. purple. Purple? No. Okay. no. I'm steering you the wrong way. Yeah, you are. Because I'm going to win. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you tell me to make it blue. This is all you. I told you this wasn't a competition, but I lied. <laughs> you did. <tell me. laughs> I have to keep up my winning streak. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I've been You do win it. most of the uh, competitions here at Splash. <laughs> I will say that. Somebody must be rigging them. Because out in the world, I do not win that oh. often. Well, that's because people don't know you. What happened? I just... I could have tried. Is it pulling off? Or? It's all water in there. Mm. I forgot what I was doing. That's great. That's me in general. <laughs> I had to go back in my house twice this morning before I left. Why? You forgot your equipment? I forgot all of this stuff. Mm. And then I also have a, um, a jazz dance class tonight, and I forgot my shoes. Oh, no. so. Jazz dance? I thought you just did yeah. ballet. I, I do jazz contemporary as well. No scat jazz? <laughs> That's the extent of what I know about scatting. Yeah. <laughs> and it's terrible. Yeah, I don't really see the big appeal. Um, okay, so where's the darker blue? Is this it? Uh, this is oh, blue. It is. What is that? Thalo. Yes. Okay. This is more. It'll be. This one's a bright blue. And it is blue this time, right? It's not like some weird color inside, like green. <laughs> it says Thalo blue, surprise, so it should be. Inside. I don't know anymore. It's always a surprise. <laughs> it's like I guess I'll be painting with yellow. That would be an interesting way to paint. Just grab. You just, you just grab a random, uh, a random color. That would be a fun challenge. That would be an interesting challenge. You have to make it work. You have to make it work. I did see a uh, Twitch user trying to paint a Bob Ross painting using only the audio from the. Oh, uh, interesting. That's episode. How close was he to it? Uh, she was pretty close, actually. I mean, obviously there were some differences, but it, it turned out really well. That's amazing. I guess Bob Ross was pretty uh, descriptive in his vocabulary. Yes. Okay. So I'm painting over that light blue, because that was horrifying. But I honestly don't know if it's going to work. If it doesn't, you can just paint over it again. going to have to. Just keep painting. <laughs> painting it's going to have painting. 50 layers. Well, at least it'll be covered. I'm going to have to redo the teeth. I have a lot of overlap. It's a little bit past 2 o'clock. 
o'clock. Oh no! All right, we'll have to wrap this up. But wait, I'm not done. I'm not done either. This is gonna have to be another homework assignment. <laughs> I know. Homework. Part three. <laughs> can they finish it? So Edward. what can we do after this? What do you normally do, Amanda? Um, after I'm done painting. Make a, make a mold? <laughs> well, the mold would be before you paint, because ah. the mold would destroy all of this hard work that we've done. Oh. Then we get to start over again? Yeah. That'd be good for me. Justin's contemplating this option. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go back a step and just sand everything, <laughs> and then we can mold. Uh, but uh, I normally cover it with some sort of clear coat. Uh -huh. Um, I like to use dull coat because it's matte. I like the way matte things look. And that preserves the paint? Yes. It creates a barrier mm -hmm. between the, the paint and the outside world. But you can do a gloss coat, mm -hmm. you know, if you want it shiny. Yeah, that's probably better for aquatic creatures. Yeah, I don't know. Not about this. really. <laughs> if only I can move faster. Well, I've been moving faster, and I just make more mistakes, and then I have to go back and fix those mistakes. So, slow and steady is probably the best. Unless you want it to look like a monster. Honestly, this looks like a six year old painted this. And I'd be like, oh. It looks nice for a six-year-old. No, you've got some blending happening here. I need to blend in the eyelids. I'm just changing the color to make it see, you know, like which one would I like? I think I might do this color instead of the dark blue. Okay. The one I use for the eyes. Yeah. I that use, works. Yeah, I don't do blue. This dark blue is not working. But that means I have to do like how many layers to fix? As many as it takes. Oh okay. god. As many as it takes. Can you just throw in a trash compactor? Yes? Nope. No. Kai has a machine. Mm. No, I just did it very, very fast. Are you done? No, I still have a lot to cover, like repaint. Mm. Um, I have a tendency when I paint the first time to put very thin layers, so mm -hmm. there's a lot of things to go back over. Yeah, mine's very Me thin too. too. Yeah. I like to build it up. Yeah, I want to see what I'm working with. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm coming up on about 2.30 now. So. Oh my gosh. 2.30? Yeah. Go see dentist. <laughs> That took a minute, but <laughs> I don't get it. Tooth hurty. Oh my gosh, Go that is. Dentist. I learned That's all such these. A joke. I learned all these dad and uncle jokes from um, one of the shows I was working on in Vegas. We had Dave Coulier come on. Oh, cut it out. Yeah, it yeah. was awesome. He played a genie. It was pretty cool. He was all purple. The so what do you think about that. that lip color instead? Yeah, I like it. Right? I think that will work. The other ones was <laughs> not working. <laughs> that bright blue one. Whoo, nightmare making. That's nightmare inducing. Oh, it's close-ish. Ask. Well, I didn't get to do my rainbow horn. Boom. There we go. Nope. Well, we can always work on this later too. Yeah. <laughs> Back. What the heck? <laughs> There uh, we I don't go. know if there's paint this one. Oh, it's yours right now. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, Lindsay. Oh, yours came out so well. It's awesome. Da 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 da. <laughs> the is up here. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, mine's... they're buddies. <laughs> Best friends. Best friends. One seems a lot happier to see the other than the other. Hey, he was born that way, okay? Grumpy? Yeah. <laughs> Sadistic. All right. All right, and I guess I'll have to do this later. I'm just trying to finish this one lip color. But I couldn't even do that 
and it's not even done. But it's slightly better. Yeah. And he, and he doesn't have eye, eyeballs. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, now you're doing it. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no. There. Yeah, they're friends. Yay. All right. So All right. This is what we've made so far. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll post something a couple we'll, weeks down the road when we're finished with this. Yeah, we'll have a follow-up yeah. updates. Maybe a, a fun stuff. little old-timey video update. Yeah, yeah. The finished product. We'll update you guys when it's all ready. Uh, um, but thank you all for joining us. Yeah, and thank you for uh, teaching us, Amanda. Yes, this is great. Yeah. Yes. The whole process. Thanks. It's very fun. Um, I actually like sculpting it. now, so yeah. I might want to continue that. Yeah. Yay! Oh, <laughs> a win um, for the sculptors. <laughs> Um, so tomorrow we actually have another stream. Uh, it's a little bit of a bonus stream because now we are able to get subscribers because we're now a Twitch affiliate. Um, if you've noticed down below on our info boxes, we already have two emotes that Lindsay did on Friday that are up and you are able to use if you subscribe to our channel. And she'll be finishing up our third tier emote tomorrow. So be sure to tune in then at 10 a.m. So that's gonna be some live drawing from uh, our graphic designer at the, at the studio. Right, right. She's the one who's behind the camera who <laughs> tells us what to do and who's commenting. Right, we just, say, we just nod and say, okay, Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she'll be doing that tomorrow, so be sure to tune in. Again, that's Pacific Standard Time, so there's no confusion. Um, next Tuesday, we will be streaming Hero 108 uh, yet again. I think we do that like once a month-ish. Yeah. So One more um, that will be Tuesday at 10 a.m. as well. And then Thursday we have a special stream because we are going to E3 next week and we will be having some very exciting footage for you guys to see. That's right. And um, we're going to talk about it. Yes. So that'll be 1 o'clock on Thursday as well. So be sure to follow us to keep up with all of our streams. Follow us on social media to keep up when we're posting anything else. And um, I think that's it. Does anybody have any Amanda? anything else? Amanda, do you have anything you'd like to say for the community? Um... <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh. I wish I had shows coming up, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then until then, uh, thanks very much again, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys. You have survived the Cabillion HQ. Follow the channel.